Imagine you are coming up to the surface from a long mining trip and you see this. Yes, you guessed it correctly. Those are the Farlands and they are one of seven. Farlands, Fatherlands, Fatherlands. Like, who made these names? Farthestlands, Vertexlands, Voidlands, and Skylands. The Skylands are the far lands, but in the sky and on their side. They rise up to the high limit. However, if there wasn't a high limit, they would rise up to a Y 25 million. The void lands are the opposite to the sky lands, and they are in the void. To see these, you need to modify your game quite a lot. They are filled with water as the game fills any block with the liquid if it goes under Y negative 63. The Vertex Farland is when the sky and void land meet, and it looks something like this. A mess of code where the game struggles to place blocks or render anything. The Farland generate 12,550,824 blocks away from spawn in the versions up to beta 1.7.3. However, you can get them to load in version 1.12.2. The Fatherlands generate 1,004,065,811 blocks to 53.9 quadrillion blocks away from spawn, or 80 times further than the Farlands. But can you go further? Yes. If you did somehow get to the 53.9 quadrillion blocks out, you would be in the Father Erlands, which generally generate 4.3 quintillion blocks out. But can you go even further? Yes, past this point, up until the 64-bit limit, would be the farthest lands. These lands have never been visited or generated before. 29 million blocks out in 1.7. That's how far you would have to travel for your game to encounter some weird glitches. Redstone generates much bigger when single but then goes back to normal once drawn with another piece of redstone. Pistons look like they're genetically modified, and string, when placed down, shows up in a grid pattern. Apparently, in early versions of the game, going up to 1 billion blocks out, you would need a mod to destroy the world border, would render redstone sometimes as large as 128 by 128 blocks. 1.12.2 renders the game smoothly when you reach the farlands. However, in beta 1.7.3, the latest version of the game you can create the farlands, it lags out completely. Like, look at this difference. Here in 1.12.2 at the farlands, this is the same world. Do not forget. Look at the difference when I switch to beta 1.7.3. It's literally crazy. I mean, look at these hitboxes. The blocks are not where they should be. However, it's very good to know that Minecraft has fixed their rendering problem. Speaking of reaching the Farlands, at one point there was a race between YouTube creators Kilo Crazy Man and Senek. However, by the time Senek had reached 500,000 blocks out, Kilo Crazy Man had already reached 4 million. With a huge head start, Kilo reached the Farlands. Now, this is the part that I find the craziest. Kurt J. Mack, another YouTuber, walked nearly 4 million blocks, and that took him over 8 whole years. Guess how long Kilo walked 12 million blocks? 6 months. His first video published on December the 22nd, 2019, and the stream where he got to the Farlands was live on June 19th, 2020. Here's the clip of him getting to the Farlands. You are making history. All I ask is for a I got a hundred away. About to see it. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, dude! Look at that! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna have a heart attack! <laughs> this man had extreme dedication. Now, if you do the maths, if he were to walk this, which he probably did because he needed a lot of food if he sprinted, 12,550,824 blocks divided by 4.3 meters per second is 2.9 million seconds for 33.8 days straight of playing the game. On average, he would have to hold that W key for 4.5 hours straight every day to do what he did. This guy will go down in history as being the first person ever to reach the Far Lands without any mods or hacks. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this brief history of the Far Lands. Um, I don't know why I made this video, I just thought it was a cool video to make. So I hope you enjoy, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.